Hey, welcome to Fanatical Side Rider. I'm just hanging around my side-by-side -side today doing a little bit of maintenance and that sort of thing. I am actually going to order a primary clutch spring for the side-by-side -side from RNG Performance. And I wanted to take a look at my belt. So I took the clutch cover off, off and I think I'm going to order another belt. Even if as a spare. Just, I mean, have it around. You never know when you're going to need it. But a lot of people tell me, and I've noticed the first time I ever took the clutch cover off the 950 was what a pain it is to get that clutch cover off. So I looked at it and I thought, okay. So I put my floor jack underneath my receiver, my trailer hitch receiver on the side by side. I jacked it up until the trailing arm went down like this. That gives you a little bit more room. And then I started undoing the bolts on the clutch cover. Then I thought, what if I remove the nut that holds the sway bar on both sides and just raise my sway bar up out of the way? So that's what I did. I'll bring you in and show you. So there's the sway bar down up here. So yeah, I just undid the nut on this side and the other side. But when you undo the nut, there's a nut here that has to come undone. You can hold it here with another wrench right here. So in case it spins on you, you can put the wrench here and then hold that nut on the, on this part here. And then also the nut on here. It's, but I think it's a 15 millimeter. I think the inside one's a 14. So yeah, and then you can just raise your sway bar out of the way. And this is gone out of the way now you got lots more room it's still going to be tight but it's much easier also you can't see but there's a rubber boot up there and it has a clamp on it so to get to the one nut that's there so what I had to do is I loosened the clamp and I removed that boot because I knew it may cause me issues taking this cover off between taking the boot off and getting the sway bar out of the way it was much easier to get this cover off and uh made my life a whole lot better. <laughs> so actually, you know what? If I ever blew a belt or something on the trail, I know how I, might, I would go about it to make it my life much easier on the trail. I wouldn't be able to jack it up so much, but I'd be able to get the sway bar out of the way and get that rubber boot out of the way to get that clutch cover off. So yeah, that's what's going on here in the garage today. I uh, check the air pressure of my tires, add a little bit of air to, to each one because I'm going riding tomorrow up at Nefton. I'm going to give this new skid plate a tryout up there. And who knows, I might even go back on Friday. I'm not sure yet. But going back to the clutch kit I'm going to order from RNG Performance, I was going to do the secondary clutch spring as well and do the whole primary clutch. But the secondary, the springs, I may just wait to do that one. I'm not sure yet because I want to go to 30 inch tire soon. Well, not too soon, but whenever money lets me do it. <laughs> so when I get the 30 inch tires on here, I want to do the secondary clutch spring as well. It always comes down to money, right? It doesn't grow on trees, they tell us, that's for sure. But I took the side by side out on the weekend and it's running great. I mean, I didn't use it much this winter and when I took it back, I took it out on Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember which day it was. I think it was Saturday. And it was so nice to get back into the side-by-side. -side. Like, I've been using my ATV all winter, and it's been a blast. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. I mean, I could almost go back to an ATV solely. But it was nice to get back in the side-by-side. -side. And going up to Nefton, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed getting back at it and... I th hopefully the snow's over now so looking forward to getting back into the side-by-side -side on a more regular basis oh and one more thing if you're thinking of getting the iron baltic skid plate for your 950 um again it's 50 dollars off your order so whatever you order from iron baltic and it's in your cart it'll be 50 dollars off with uh, the code promo code fanatical and I'm, but i wanted to show you something if you do get the Iron Baltic skid plate on your side-by-side. -side. So one thing I've noticed right here is uh, with this skid plate on the lower control arm, when I crank the wheel all the way to the right or the other side all the way to the left, the skid plate here 
or the control arm guard here hits this plastic piece of junk, you can see that it's it's hitting it and it's carving it up here. So I might I, you may just want to remove this or give it a bit of a trim, like maybe trim off like a quarter of an inch or half an inch here. I haven't even measured it yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So that's it for today's update. I just wanted to say hello and give you an update what's going on here. Really looking forward to spring and summer riding. And if you're not a part of the Facebook group, um, down in the description below, I have a link to the Facebook group for Fanatical Side Rider. You can go check that out. Come on over and like the page, follow the page. And uh, I'm always adding pictures and other information that you don't see here on the channel. So come on by there and check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.